President Trump's threat to strike North Korea with fire and fury has prompted Pyongyang to claim it is carefully examining a plan to hit Guam with missiles. Since it became an American territory in 1898, Guam has been considered a vital asset by Washington. It lies in the Pacific east of the Philippines and around 1,700 miles south of North Korea. Its proximity to China, Japan, and the Korean Peninsula hand the U.S. a launching pad into Asia and, as such, it has been built up into a military fortress. In this video, defense updates look at how powerful U.S. forces in Guam are and provide five reasons why an attack on it will be very costly for North Korea. Number 5 The U.S. runs a naval base and coast guard station in the south of the island as well as an air force base in the north which was regularly used during the Vietnam War. So, Guam is protected both ways. Based at the station are around 7,000 U.S. troops. The bases cover 30% of the entire island which is roughly the size of Chicago and has a population of 162,000. Since the bases are dispersed throughout the island, it cannot be easily targeted. While it gives the U.S. the capability to launch strikes in Asia, Guam also serves an important defense function for Washington and its allies. It has robust anti-air defense batteries and excellent stock of ammunition. Number 4 Naval Base Guam is the home port for four nuclear-powered fast-attack submarines and two submarine support vessels. The Virginia class, also known as the SSN 774 class, is a class of nuclear-powered fast-attack submarines. The submarines are designed for broad spectrum of open ocean and literal shallow coastal water missions. Virginia class is designed to take out enemy surface vessels, submarines, as well as strike ground targets. For anti-ship role, it's equipped with harpoon missile. For anti-submarine role, it has MK-48 torpedoes and for land attacks, it has Tomahawk cruise missiles. The hard to detect and very versatile submarine could be the one to land the initial punches. Arleigh Burke class warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and anti-surface warfare. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer built around the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States DOD Missile Defense Agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry. Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and, if needed, engage potential threats using either SM-2 or SM-3 missile. SM-3 missile having range of 2500 km and speed of Mach 10.2 is expected to be particularly effective against North Korean missiles like Nodong missiles, Musadan, and Taipadong that have short to intermediate range. Number 3 Guam is referred to by U.S. commanders as a permanent aircraft carrier. There's a good reason for it. It's home to F-16 and F-18 fighter jets as well as B-52 bombers. The F-16 and F-18 fighters, though being fourth-generation fighters, are equipped with excellent weapons and are flown by highly trained and experienced pilots. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is an American long-range subsonic jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. The United States Air Force has operated it since the 1950s. The bomber is capable of carrying up to 70,000 pounds that's 32,000 kilograms of weapons and has a typical combat range of more than 8,800 miles without aerial refueling. The Air Force has also deployed B-1B Lancer to the base starting August 6th. B-1B has an excellent range of 5,900 miles or 9,400 kilometers and service ceiling of 60,000 feet. B-1B has a massive payload of 125,000 pounds that's 56,700 kilograms internal and external ordnance combined. The supersonic bomber is designed for deploying conventional as well as nuclear bombs. The B-52 and B-1B with F-16 or F-18 fighter escorts are capable for quick and massive damage to North Korea. Number 2 In 2013, the U.S. Army's Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD, system was deployed to the island giving Washington the power to shoot down North Korean ballistic missiles. 
Vand is designed to shoot down short, medium, and intermediate range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. It uses a hit to kill approach, that is, the missile carries no warhead but relies on the kinetic energy of impact to destroy the incoming missile. The THAAD system is being designed, built, and integrated by Lockheed Martin Space Systems acting as a prime contractor. A THAAD battery consists of at least six launcher vehicles, each equipped with eight missiles. The THAAD radar is an X-band, active electronically scanned array radar developed and built by Raytheon. The system has an operational range of around 200 kilometers with a speed of 8.24 Mach. It's ideally suited to take out North Korean missiles. Number 1 With Roderick getting higher and higher, it's safe to assume that the U.S. has deployed one or two Ohio-class submarines in close vicinity to Guam. The Ohio-class is a class of nuclear-powered submarines that's considered to be one of the most lethal platforms in the world. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio-class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. The Ohio-class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy, having a displacement of 16,764 tons. Each carries 24 Trident submarine launch ballistic missiles that have a range of 11,000 kilometers. Each of these missiles has 12 MIRV, multiple independent reentry vehicle, nuclear warheads, and each of these warheads have explosive power equivalent to 300 to 475 kilotons of TNT. Ohio class could be the weapon of choice for President Trump when he warned that threats from North Korea will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. As inferred by the above points, Guam is capable enough in itself to thwart any North Korean attack as well as respond with massive firepower. Nonetheless, it will have solid backing from U.S. forces stationed in Japan, the 7th Fleet, as well as forces deployed in South Korea. In any war, surprise is the key and North Korea has given it away. Guam will be more ready than ever. An attack at this stage on Guam will be very costly and lead to enormous retaliation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.